So Memo Paris has a very popular collection of fragrances dedicated to one of my favorite notes, leather. One of the more popular fragrances in this collection is called African Leather, this right here. In this Safravon Contributor Review video, we're going to review African Leather, plus you're going to have a chance at winning a full bottle of African Leather, all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews and you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And yes, African leather is very popular in the fragrance community. And with my research, I've come to the conclusion that people really do love this fragrance and they speak highly of it. This is African leather, but there are other leathers in the collection, which includes Italian leather, Irish leather, French leather, and Russian leather, which I have reviewed for South Urban. You can find the link in the info box. But African leather was launched in 2015. The perfumer behind African leather is Alianor Massenet, who actually probably has done most or all of the fragrances in this house. The fragrance retails for $295 in a 75 ml bottle like this, and it comes in EDP concentration. For notes in African leather, you have bergamot, cardamom, saffron, cumin, Geranium Absolute, Patchouli, Oud Accord, Leather Accord, Essence of Vetiver, and Musk. So the very first time I put my nose on African leather, I was immediately hooked. I thought it was one of the most beautiful fragrances that utilized a dominant note of cardamom. Where I grew up drinking cardamom tea and having cardamom coffee, I really love the way cardamom smells, and it actually is used so perfectly here. It is one of the most beautiful representations of cardamom in the fragrance, at least to me. So that kickstarts the fragrance. You got a big blast of spicy aromatic cardamom at the top, and it hits you. It hooks you, and you want to explore this fragrance further. Spices do pop through, like cumin. You've got the geranium in here that also comes off peppery. You've got saffron. Patchouli pops through, and then as the fragrance is drying down, the oud shows up. But all along this time, leather is like developing and blooming and becoming the dominant note. As it's drying down further, vetiver and musk pop through and it's a really beautiful, slightly spicy, woody dry down. The leather here works so beautifully with this cardamom. They are kind of like a match made in heaven. It's, it's a unique and beautiful combo that I absolutely love. Now the fragrance is also dry. I can, I can see that because Africa, after all, is a dry land. You're looking at uh, the inspiration for the, from the safari. This is a safari, this is the African safari, and this is a safari leather. So visualize that you're in the safari and you're exploring lands and you run across the giraffes, the lions, the elephants, the gazelles, they're all running around. When you're done with the safari for the day, you head to the city where you're gonna grab some food. You head to the market where the smell of the spices has just totally taken over. This is the spicy portion of this fragrance. And these two worlds work so well together. The spices and the safari come together beautifully. There are times that African leather comes off a slight bit animalic, which I understand why it should, because it is, after all, Africa. And Africa is the land of wild animals. They are present there. And it's a true inspiration for African leather. There's also times that the leather, or actually just the fragrance in general, comes off a slight bit aquatic, which is also a true inspiration because there are lakes, there are rivers running through the land of Africa. So this is actually one of the best representations of a fragrance inspired by Africa. It is a great leather. I'm glad they did African leather because leather and Africa kind of go hand in hand. One of the Truly most unique things about this fragrance is the compliments. I get many compliments and I think it has to do with that aromatic and spicy cardamom at the top. Even though the cardamom disappears towards the end of the life of this fragrance, you still smell it. It is after all what does it for me here. It's not about the leather because I love leather, but it's actually the cardamom that's making it work for me here. That cardamom is truly, truly beautiful. And growing up with cardamom consumption in teas and coffees, I had to love this one. It was a given because it smells like true cardamom. Overall, I really love wearing African leather. 
and absolutely love the way it smells. A great start to a beautiful fragrance and an awesome end as well. So if you don't know African leather and you don't know Memo Paris fragrances and you have no place to go check them out, now is your chance to try to win a bottle of African leather. All you have to do is click the link in the info box and head over to Sattler Bond, follow their rules, participate in the giveaway there by putting a comment. Of course, you have to register as well. Good luck with the giveaway. Also guys, what are your thoughts about African leather? Have you tried it? Do you own it? Do you wear it? Do you like it? Let me know. Also in general, what about Memo Paris as a brand? Do you know this brand? Do you like any of their fragrances? Put them down in the info box. Let's get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.